think you can guess the best-selling spirit category in the world. Is it vodka? Whiskey, perhaps. No, sorry, it's actually Baju, a Chinese liquor that accounts for $23 billion of sales a year. Most of that consumption is happening in China, but now there's a big push to bring it west. So here with some Baju for our weekend sip is Market Watch's Charles Passy. Charles, thanks for coming. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Well, you know, I have heard it Baju, Baju. It's, it's a little bit tricky, I think, for us American folks to figure it out. Right. But guess what? Either way, they want us to be drinking it. They want it. us to be drinking it, but this is a broad category, Right, correct? right, right, right. So how are we tackling it today? Well, we're going to be looking at two varieties here. I mean, the thing to understand is that this is a spirit that has a rich history in China. And yes, it is the largest selling spirit in the world, largely because there are so many people in, in China. China yeah. For many years, China really did not care if this spirit went abroad. Their economy has had some issues of late. Now they are starting to say, hey, Western folks, maybe you want to see about yes. this. They would like to see if they can market it. Um, what is it, it made from? It's made from grains, grains. sorghum primarily. Okay. There are different varieties. It is a complex spirit in which I'm not even going to begin to pretend that I understand <laughs> all the different variations. And there's high-low, right? And there's, there's, different, there's different price levels. Mm. Uh, Mao Tai is sort of the, I would call this the Johnny Walker Blue of, of, of Baiju. It's, it's the very high end. It's the one that's used for very ceremonious things. This is, this is the one that President Nixon had uh, uh. when he visited China. It's also the one that Dan Rather, at the time when he visited, uh, described as liquid razor blade. Oh, that's um, make, getting me very excited. It has, it has a very distinct flavor. <laughs> This is HKB, Hong Kong Baiju, and it's the one that is being marketed as kind of the more Western friendly uh, one, a little sweeter. So um, this one is cheaper? This is cheaper. Is this this is 50 for a full size bottle. This is 160 for the small for the bottle. Small. But, How is it enjoyed in China? You know, this is enjoyed. I'll tell you, they tend to do shots. They tend to kick back and uh, they drink a lot of All it. All day long. And they drink it. Meal? Well, they drink it throughout the meal. They do right. not. I mean, we think of it as cocktails. Uh, we think of we think of spirits for cocktails. Um, we think of really as it's something you have, spirits as something you have before a meal. They think of it as throughout the meal, and they tend to just gulp it back or whatever. Interesting. Thing, yeah. Now this one they will want. This one they are promoting as something you can mix in cocktails, but they say you can have it straight. So I think we should be begin with the high-end one that is the scary one, the liquid razor right, blade that's one. that's this one over on this yeah, side. Okay, now, see. I know you said we're supposed to knock it back, but I think I'm going to sip. sip it. And we're having it in traditional baiju glasses. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Charles. Interesting. Yeah. I can't say that I've ever tasted anything like that. Yeah, it's. It, I, I describe it as this funky fungal thing, very mushroomy. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I would go quite that far with the, but it is. It is different. It well, it's different. It's I very mean, uh, different. you know, different. I guess would be the nice way of putting it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is something a bit lost in translation here. Yeah. It's 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 not something we're used to. No. Um, somebody uh, I read described it as you know this is very umami like and that it might work well with umami foods, which you, certainly you have yeah. in Asian culture. Yeah. Um, but it's 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 a bit tough to imagine. Yeah. Really I've got to be of, honest with you. I, I, this is not my first choice. Let's yes. Say, let's. Yeah. I, I, I think that. Um, in I context, I could I could enjoy it. You know. All right. All right. Should we try now, the second one. Now the second one is is sweeter. And I this would one say. is marketed more for the Western palate. Is that's, that what you're well, saying? That's okay. definitely the case. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. This is more like a dessert liqueur to me. Yeah, I mean, I describe it as bubble gum and licorice kind of flavors are yes. sort of popping to yes. the top. Yes. Um, you know, um, I, you know. This one I understand. I, it's a little, it's definitely more approachable. Again, probably not my thing, but definitely more approachable, certainly more approachable from a price standpoint. Yes, yes. Um, I think they have a tough road ahead of them. I will say that. But here's the point that they make. Think of the amount of Chinese industry in this country, Chinese business people coming to this country, uh, the amount of entertaining socialization that goes on. 
Why isn't there a bottle of Baiju in every prominent bar in this country? The amount of business that is probably could be done with that. I'm so sure I think, there will be very shortly. And I, I think there, I, so I think they may be on to yes, something. I think Whether or not right. Americans will embrace it, I don't know. We have yet to, to see. But. Well, Charles, thank you for introducing <laughs> us to this. There we go. The All liquid right. razor blades. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>